This screencast is going to provide a quick demo of how to embed a voice thread in a page on your Google site. First, I want to show there's a particular technique that you're going to want to follow and a few steps that are particular to voice threads. And it's important to follow them for a couple different reasons. You don't want it set up so that you get this pop-up asking you to sign in because even if you enter the proper credentials, the authentication will fail and it won't let you log in. The second way, the second thing that is less than ideal is that you can embed using uh, the VoiceThread embed code, but it looks crappy. I don't know if you can tell uh, if it comes through in this video, but the um, text comes through as pixelated instead of crisp like it usually does and as you go through it just looks um, it just doesn't look good it looks bad and so the technique that I'm going to show you is going to allow you to to embed it in a way that's going to make it look as good as it possibly can in your Google site page okay so here's what you do you have to go to VoiceThread into edit mode so I clicked on the little menu wheel and I'm going to go to edit when you're in edit mode you sort of have this slide sorter view first thing I'm going to do is go to publishing options which is at the very bottom and I'm going to select allow anyone to view this really the equivalent in any kind of a Google document as um, allowing anyone with the URL to see it it's not going to show up on the browse page in VoiceThread, and it's not going to allow anyone to search and find it. So there's still a um, quite a bit of privacy to it. So then click Save. Next, you're going to want to go and click on the Share button. And then you need to get the link. And then copy the link. And it's important that you follow the directions and the steps in this way. So click share, get the link, and then copy the link using that method. So now we're going to go back to our Google site, create a new page, or you may have a page already, VoiceThread and Bedorama. I don't care where it goes right now. Place the cursor where I want it to go. Insert, more gadgets. And right now, this is the gadget that I want. It's the include gadget with iframe here in parentheses. Just click on it and select. In this box right here, I'm going to paste the link that I got before. Here, I'm going to make a couple changes. I'm going to turn this into, I'm going to change this value to 100. And then in this little drop down, I'm going to change the value from pixels to percent. I want it to span 100% of the width of the page. And then I'm going to keep the height value at 800 pixels. I'm going to have it not display the title on the gadget. And then I'm going to click OK. In order to see what my results are, I need to then save the page. All right, so now when I scroll down, I can see that I have very um, crisp looking text. Another advantage of doing it this way is that when you have the space on either side and also at the bottom, you can use the full screen mode, which the full screen then becomes this frame that you created. But uh, you can use that to play it back and get a little bit more real estate. So that's the method for adding a voice thread to your page. 